What are we looking for? Cautiously or unconsciously, we were looking for a way to find transcendence in this third dimensional world of experience, this world of absolutes that we find ourselves in within harmonic universe number one. We need a real sense of awareness, a belonging to something higher than what we see in everyday life. This has been called self-realization. Because our soul is always seeking a transcendent experience where it can surpass the material self, the third dimensional self of harmonic universe number one of those lower vibratory frequencies into a higher quality of life that is everlasting. And sometimes we settle for less losing hope that we can ever reach what we were truly meant for, something higher than a mere existence in the physical things of life, which obviously do not bring contentment or happiness or long-lasting fulfillment. Some individuals are not yet aware of their sole purpose in life. But I am here to tell you, dear, esteemed, honorable, noble, and notable viewer, that when one is aware of his or her destiny, it brings a motivation that empowers all faculties aided by the universe to fulfill something that no one else can fulfill but that one individual. Then again, the drive to fulfill a soul destiny is not always known consciously, but subconsciously. That's why it is beneficial to know oneself and to pursue the ancient mysteries of soul enfoldment, of bringing heaven to earth, of connecting your lower self to your higher self. The carrying out of the soul purpose leads the way to the all that there is, to the divine grid programmer, to the prime creator, to the divine grid programmer, which this universe is that we find ourselves in on one level is a hologram of deception, but it is all meant in this great game of life for us to perceive and then transcend. And the first way, the first dynamic creative command in creating miracles in your life, I'm going to give it to you right from the Bible, from the quantum Bible, the first Dynamic creative command in the Bible is let there be light. Think about that. Let there be light. The scaffolding of the entire existence is all based upon light, which is a vibration and a frequency of love. Under the impetus of this, of this forceful statement of let there be light, the invisible atoms and molecules of unlimited space were set into motion and all creation began. Light is synonymous with spirit or intelligence. Darkness represents ignorance and the forces of evil. So too, there are two opposite polarities in all of life. One represents the force of good or God the other, the force of evil, or as religionists call it, the devil. Or yin and yang, positive, negative polarities. You don't have to be so dramatic with God and the devil. Just as God used this dynamic command, let there be light, to start all creation, so too you can summon up all the creative powers of your brain and body by using a similar creative command to invoke the miracle working power that can change your life from a negative, fear-filled, and unhappy one to one of health, happiness, and fulfillment. Yes, just as we have light and darkness, so too we have opposing states of consciousness. It is really that simple. 
We have two opposing states of consciousness, love or fear, which constantly struggle for supremacy. These two states of consciousness can be created through the words you think and speak. These words set up little electrical and magnetic charges within the brain and then communicate themselves to the nerves and muscles of the body, setting into motion the conditions embodied in the words, let there be light. The master metaphysician Jesus said, if ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. What does this mean? It means that the creative intelligence of the divine mind, which is unlocked within us through the use of words or creative commands, positive words, thoughts, and emotions, will release positive creative power within your body. Will release positive creative power within your body. Whereas negative thoughts, words, and emotions will release destructive power within your body. Many modern quantum physicists, well, not quantum, but the Newtonian physicists and modern doctors, the medical establishment, many modern doctors will not allow certain words to be used in the presence of their patients because they know that, ne that negative words can be harmful to the patient and decrease the healing power within the body. So focalize, focalize, focalize your creative miracle power. Everyone has a vague idea that he wants to be happy, that she would like to have a healthy body, that she would like to have a fortune. But most people occasionally release enough creative power through their positive thoughts and emotions to just barely get along in life. Some unconsciously use the right creative commands and then they see amazing results in their lives. However, most people are so steeped in the consciousness of negative thoughts words and emotions that they are never able to achieve the big dramatic results that bring them complete fulfillment and happiness. To achieve the complete release of this inner miracle power, you must learn how to focalize the creative energies of your mind and your emotions, just as the sun's rays can be focused through a magnifying glass and set fire to a piece of wood or paper. So your creative mental energies can be focalized through a process of concentration and dynamic mental action that can literally kindle the creative flame of genius within yourself. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for further information dissemination broadcast from the Ombanda School of Compassion, Strength, and Creative Flame of Geniuses within yourself and the activation thereof. Namaste. Namaskar.